Hey, and welcome to this tutorial about HTOP and how to use it on a VPS. In today's video, I will show you how to use HTOP, a reliable tool to monitor and control processes on your VPS. HTOP is an interactive process viewer for Unix systems that goes beyond the traditional top command. It provides a user-friendly interface, allowing you to effortlessly navigate through processes. Let us start with the installation process of HTOP, as it is not pre-installed unlike the regular top package. HTOP installation. To install HTOP on Debian-based distributions such as Debian or Ubuntu, simply use the App Package Manager. To install HTOP, enter the command displayed below. Launching HTOP and understanding its interface. Launching HTOP can't be easier. Just type in HTOP. You will then be greeted by this insanely complex interface. Even the best Linux experts struggle on understanding such rocket science. Just kidding. While this looks complex at first, I will show you step by step what every section means. You will see it's easier than it looks. Let's go through the interface from top to bottom. CPU usage. At the top of the HTOP interface, you can find real-time display of CPU usage. This metric illustrates the percentage of CPU resources being used. High CPU usage may indicate that your server is working hard, potentially nearing its capacity. But as you can see, our test server is doing nothing at the moment. RAM usage. Near the CPU usage, the memory bar provides insights into RAM usage. If the bar is filled, it suggests that a significant portion of your available memory is in use. Swap usage. The swap bar, if visible, represents the usage of swap space, a portion of your disk used as virtual memory when physical RAM is exhausted. A full bar might indicate that your server is running out of available memory. Load average. HTOP displays the load average in the top right corner, indicating the average system load over different time intervals. A load average close to the number of CPU cores is considered acceptable. Spikes or consistently high values might indicate a resource bottleneck. Uptime. In HTOP you can also see how long your server has been running for. Processes list. Now let us talk about the elephant in the room, or to be precise, the elephant on the screen. The processes list in the middle. Here you can see all processes that are currently running on your system, together with some other metrics such as CPU and memory usage per process, process priority and nice values, process ID and the user that executed the task, the time the process is running for, and much, much more. If you want to leave the HTOP window, press the F10 key on your keyboard. But that's it for now. If you want to learn more about HTOP, for example how to interact with processes through HTOP, for example killing or renaming them, or how to customize your HTOP window to make it look like this, check out our full guide on our blog. Find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing to the channel so you won't miss our next tutorials.